In today's video, let's take a closer look at one of my favorite car brands, uh, Subaru, uh, Subaru Outback in particular. Outback uh, was derived or created based on uh, Subaru Legacy, which was just a regular station wagon. In 1994, the concept was created by uh, Subaru of America, North American division of Subaru. Uh, which was experiencing uh, slow sales in the mid 90s due to lack of their entry into the uh, quickly developing uh, SUV market. So not having the finances to create new vehicles, uh, Subaru decided to get uh, plastic panels, just slap them on the side of the vehicle. Uh, these days they would call it uh, facelift. They also lifted the suspension and uh, gave it a name uh, Subaru uh, Legacy Outback after the Australian wilderness uh, desert uh, Outback. They also hired uh, actor Paul Hogan who was the uh, star of this new movie uh, Crocodile Dundee uh, to promote this vehicle and be a spokesman uh, for Subaru and uh, this model was marketed as more capable and more fuel efficient than uh, any other uh, truck based SUV of that time. And the ad campaign was so successful that in the first nine months they were able to sell over 20,000 units and Paul Hagen who was a former salesman apparently told uh, Subaru allegedly that uh, you better get ready to make a lot of this because I'm going to sell. And it was not just a successful ad campaign but it was also the uh, vehicle that was uh, very capable that they were able to create with all of those uh, additions because first it was sold as an option of uh, uh, Subaru Legacy. Uh, they offered uh, famous Subaru all-wheel drive system with raised suspension and mud tires and um, skid plate and uh, mud flops and uh, uh, roof rack for luggage. They were able to actually sell so many of those cars that uh, it was admitted by uh, senior vice president of Subaru that uh, car actually saved the company. And then later, in 1996, it was launched in Australia. Uh, the name Legacy Outback was shortened to just Subaru Outback, but it still had the same 2.2 liter uh, that they used in uh, Legacy. It produced uh, 135 horsepower, and it was marketed as the first sport utility station wagon. And with the arrival of the second generation in 2000, uh, Subaru Outback becomes its own model. It is bigger and rounder now. It also employs 2.5 liter engine that is uh, standard four-cylinder engine that produced 165 horsepower. Uh, it is more fuel efficient and gives more torque. There was also an optional 3 liter engine. It is six-cylinder that produced 212 horsepower. But the difference between those engines is obviously the horsepower and torque, but also the maintenance. The 2.5 liter engine required the timing belt replacement every 100,000 miles, but the 3 liter engine uh, had a timing chain that didn't require replacement under normal conditions. And this bigger engine was offered with the higher trim level, like LL Bean series, that offered uh, features like uh, leather uh, upholstery, three disc in dash uh, CD changer, and also uh, like climate control, automatic climate control. And along with uh, Subaru Outback, uh, Subaru also developed uh, this uh, four door uh, coupe uh, utility pickup truck. This is the official name that was called Baja. It provided the uh, capabilities and handling of the regular passenger car, but also the option of this uh, open bed of a small uh, pickup truck. The name Baja comes from the west coast uh, of Mexico, Baja Peninsula. It is also uh, home of the Baja 1000 off-road race and uh, definitely didn't look like anything else on the road. It uh, looks uh, 
quirky somebody would say definitely strange and doesn't fit any category and that's important for a lot of customers and uh, with projecting sales over 24,000 units a year they were only able to sell uh, around 30,000 uh, units in four and a half years which made it uh, very uh, rare and expensive Subarus that are hard to find and uh, puts it along with uh, Subaru SVX for the third generation, uh, Subaru Outback uh, dropped all of the uh, legacy names uh, around the world, which is still used in several markets, leaving legacy only for the sedan version. Uh, it still had 2.5 liter four cylinder engine and three liter engine optional. But in 2005, uh, Subaru brought uh, Outback XT that uh, offered a turbocharged 2.5 liter engine that uh, produced 243 horsepower versus the regular uh, naturally aspirated uh, 2.5 liter engine that produced 175 horsepower. And with its fourth generation Subaru Outback went through some major changes in 2009. Uh, their famous frameless windows were no longer available. Uh, they were the trademark of Subaru since 1970s. That's when they were first introduced with uh, third generation Subaru Leon. There was also a continuously variable transmission uh, featured for the first time and uh, the uh, turbo engine was no longer available. Also, you could not buy the uh, car painted with uh, front and rear bumper in contrasting colors. And finally, with the current generation that went on sale in uh, 2014, now uh, Subaru Outback is classified as a crossover. It was made possible with the optional 3.6 liter engine that produced 256 horsepower. It uh, pushed this uh, vehicle into this new category. Uh, it still employs the uh, continuously variable transmission, but it is now only one option uh, there is a base 2.5 liter engine as well that produces 175 horsepower it is considered one of the best uh, Subaru engines ever made there is still a uh, symmetrical all-wheel drive system which is just exceptional and the Subaru's trademark that's all I have for you today guys check out my channel for my other videos but for now thanks for watching and see you in the next one